So I've mentioned on this channel before that I absolutely love the movie Zombieland, like it's one of my favorite comedies and maybe one of my favorite movies. Even so, I don't have any illusions about how flawed it is. I know that Zombieland is not a particularly well-written film. For me, the script of Zombieland at most can be pretty funny and pretty heartfelt. But what makes the movie fantastic is the cast that portrays that script. The movie's great not because the jokes are great, but because Woody Harrelson, Jesse Eisenberg, Emma Stone, and Abigail Breslin are great. And together, they're great. So if you took a bunch of nobodies that weren't Woody Harrelson, Jesse Eisenberg, Emma Stone, and Abigail Breslin and told them to portray the same characters under the same circumstances, it, it, <sighs> Zombieland was originally conceived to be a zombie comedy TV show. It was actually going to be the first zombie TV show ever, but no networks thought that the concept of a zombie comedy could hold up for an entire series, so instead we got this gem. So Rhett Reese and Paul Wernick, if I'm pronouncing those right, rewrote their pilot episode script into a full movie, and somehow we got all those amazing people to star in the movie, and now we have the wonder that is Zombieland. Now, speculations on the future of Zombieland have been up in the air since the movie came out in 2009. There was talk of a sequel, like real serious talk of a sequel, where like Woody Harrelson gets a love interest and stuff like that. There was going to be a TV show, and now it's like a web show, so it just keeps moving down. You can watch the first episode for free on Amazon, so I'll put a link downstairs. So what this show is, is the kind of continued story of Tallahassee, Columbus, Wichita, and Little Rock as they, you know, adventure through Zombieland. And it's, um... Well, okay, I'll give it this. It's better than the trailer would suggest. The trailer for this show made it look like just the worst thing ever. It made it look awful, and it's not like super awful, but it's not particularly good, and that's because they don't have Woody Harrelson, Jesse Eisenberg, Emma Stone, or Abigail Breslin. I guess those two guys that originally conceived Zombieland as a TV show really wanted to continue that story because they're settling for web show. And like I said, these guys are okay at best writers. They can't really hold up on their own. They need those Hollywood actors to come in and, like, you know, save them. But this show's being made on a noticeably low budget, and they got a bunch of actors that nobody has ever heard of to play the same characters from the movie, which is, ugh. And again, they're all right. They're not awful. Like, they really, really try to emulate their characters from the movie, but, like, this dude that they got can't match up to Woody Harrelson. And it's the same with the rest of the characters. They're playing the characters that they're supposed to play, but because in the movie they had Woody Harrelson and Emma Stone and Jesse Eisenberg and Abigail Breslin, they were able to morph those characters and sort of splurge them with themselves so they can make them real and awesome and really hilarious. And this guy obviously doesn't have any Woody Harrelson in him, so he can't merge with the character like that, so obviously it's not gonna be the same. At best, these actors can portray, like, the surface versions of the characters from the movie, but because they're not these big experienced actors, they can never get as deep or feel as real as they do in the movie. Also, the show really has no style or edge like the movie does. You know, the movie had that awesome soundtrack of like rock and heavy metal, and it had the text for the rules appear on the screen and that awesome voiceover narration from Jesse Eisenberg. You know, some of those things are in the show, but the soundtrack is absent probably because the show couldn't pay for the music, and it just doesn't feel as fresh as the movie does. Even so, Zombieland the show does have its moments. You can tell that it was written by the same two guys, and some of these jokes really do hit home and make you laugh but there's nothing there that wouldn't be a thousand times better with the original cast in like a sequel or something. And the show also acts like the message in the first movie doesn't exist, so to this web show thing, couldn't they just have a sequel? I would much rather have a sequel. I always wanted a sequel. Zombieland 2 would be awesome. Um...